In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your store on your Strikingly website, how to add products and how to showcase them on your store. So you just want to go into your control panel and you're going to select store. Um, and you're going to see this will pop up here and you're going to say add new product. So if you have a physical product with description, um, where you're physically going to shoot, then you would select this option here. If you perform a service where, for example, like it says consulting, training, or coaching, you would click this option here. Or if you're doing some eBooks or docs or digital download that you obviously click this one here. So let's go ahead and click that we're doing, let's say a physical product. Um, so you would just go ahead and name your product here. Uh, let's see, it was dog treats. Um, then you would go in here and add some description. Um, up, or whatever you want to add in here for your product. Uh, you would go down here and you would create a pricing. So whatever you're selling this product for, you would add here. You can see, is it unlimited stock? So you have so much, or if you want to limit the stock, uh, you click here and then you would enter that you only have a hundred of it or whatever the case may be. Um, and then here too, you want to select um, some good images of your product. Um, it allows you to browse uh, your computer and find uh, the images and then you would just select it. Or if you've had some images that are already uploaded, you would go ahead and, and select from there. And then you would just um, add that to your product. Um, you also want to um, add some, oops, we got out of there. So it's gonna go back to it. Um, if you wanna add some options, uh, is there small, medium, large that you're shipping? You would click here and you would select whether you have some size option, color options, uh, whatever the case is. So you would add that in here. Um, you'd also, based on shipping, you would add your shipping requirements in here. And you'd also set up uh, some shipping uh, requirements in the shipping tab here. Um, this one, you would you would set your parameters, like is it standard shipping, is it free shipping? and you're able to add some shipping options there. So we want to go back to uh, products um, and then you can add um, uh, uh, categories for this. So maybe it's stock treats, maybe you have different categories for your products. So you just click on there. It says it's optional, but it's better. It makes your, or your site more organized. So you can just click a new category. Um, so maybe you want to name it dog treats. Um, and then you can activate your filter so it show up on your site. So if somebody wants to uh, search on your site for uh, dog treats, they can do that. And then you go ahead and do that. Um, so let's select here. Uh, computer's a little slow today. So let's click dog treats. So you see that that will show up on your site. Um, you could also add a more description descriptive um, section to your to your product description so this is where you can add and evolve it and do more things and then here you would get more link options so for example if you wanted to link and not put a link for something else in the description and point your customers to something else you can make things bolder you can uh, put in italics underline you could do a, a number of things once you click to show more details on your page. You could also create what they call a custom um, URL. So you can add, I don't know, um, a brand or a dog, you can call it whatever you want here. Um, and this would be the URL you would use to promote your store or that particular uh, product. And then once you're finished, um, you would go ahead and save that and then your product would appear on the site. Um, so I had selected options, so I'm going to take that off because what's that? But you can, you get the gist of it. Like you, you just go ahead and do that. And then once you have all of your requirements, it's telling me that I need a price. So somehow I knocked out the price. 
so let's say it's 4.99 um, and I don't have an image in there but if you have images of your products obviously you could put those in and then you would save that and the product um, will appear and that's it guys that's how you set up your store uh, pretty easy walkthrough if you follow all the prompts it's pretty easy to do and then you have different sections here that you could develop ahead of time so you can go ahead and add your product categories ahead of time so when you're adding a new product you just select it you can go ahead and create your shipping parameters ahead of time so if you're doing free shipping or if you have a region that a certain price applies to so you go ahead um, you can put your taxes in um, and you can also enable product reviews so that customers can uh, put reviews of that particular product and I'll show up on your site and here you have some general store settings um, as well that you can go through and we'll save that for some other videos we'll go more in detail with each of these that's it guys and I'll see you in the next video